guys, it's Marshall and Mike from PhysioU, and today for the Mentoring Minute we're going to be talking about ACLs. Um, where to start? So many good articles, so much information about ACLs prevention, rehab, post-op stuff. So what we're going to focus on primarily today is single limb hopping. So after that four to five months when they're starting to begin hopping and they've met all the guidelines, their quad strength, their range of motion, their swelling, that's all kind of been um, taken care of. They can start returning to sports specific activities. Obviously start gradual, build up. So when we talk about single limb hopping, there's four predictors we're looking for in the research. One is hip control. So primarily we're looking, is there any internal rotation of the hip? We're looking for knee, femur, frontal plane, so the adduction. So again, that movement fall of adduction, internal rotation. If we move up the chain, that postural control, so on one leg, do they have any type of ipsilateral trunk lean or contralateral hip drop? Right? Those are big predictors of re-injury to that ACL graft. And then lastly, asymmetries in your quad and hamstring when landing. Right? Um, so if we look at single limb hop, right? so with, with uh, Dr. Wong here, right? there are some articles that talk about the way we land decreases stress on the graft, ground reaction forces. So if we have, um, we have Mike jump up in the air and then land, right? if he lands on a on a forefront, I'm sorry, on a foot flat contact, right? Compared to landing on your toes first with the trunk forward, right? not only does that decrease ground reaction forces, it actually decreases tibial shearing as well. So when these patients are jumping and they're landing uh, with the whole foot flat contact with an upright trunk, right? That's increased ground reaction force to the knee as well as more anterior tibial translation. So we want to Tell them we're trying to aim for this forward trunk posture to really exaggerate this hip hinge, as well as make sure we're landing toe first. Use the gastroc to help absorb shock and let the heel come down. Okay. Now, if we have Mike turn towards the camera here, we're going to kind of jump for distance now. Right. Research shows that the single limb hop for distance is a really good predictor of quad strength uh, in a functional way. So go ahead and jump as far as you can. In the research, they're looking for distance, right? The, the amount that they can jump compared to quad strength. What we want to make sure we take a step further is that quality. Right, we know with the other article, those four predictors, so we're looking at is there any too, is there too much trunk lean? Is there too much hip interrotation adduction? And then from the side view, are they going into that hip hinge and their toes are landing first? All right, hope you guys enjoyed today's mentoring minute on ACL rehab and returning back to sports. Take care, guys.